relationship advice story now. I've been helping out at a homeless shelter and I met this one girl who seems really cool considering what she's going through. Oh. Anyway, I had the chance to talk to her and she's a nice girl, but not just that, she cleans up well. I'm not saying that because she's homeless she's automatically unattractive, but you don't always see many attractive homeless people. Fair. <laughs> You know, it's rough out there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Certainly with good old British yeah. weather. If you saw her in a coffee shop or something, you wouldn't be able to tell that she's homeless. There are also many other great things about her. She's a college graduate. I know she has a stable job and plans on getting an apartment pretty soon. I don't know everything that's going on in her life, but I kind of feel attracted to her. How do I go about this situation? Oh. Do you have any advice for OP? Um, Wow. Without knowing a bit more background, it's kind mm. of hard. Mm. Um, but maybe just take just the time to get to, to know her. Yeah, just yeah. talk to her. See talk where it goes. Her. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. We'll see what the comments are saying. <clears throat> I mean, I wouldn't kind of necessarily swoop in and sweep her off her feet. No, I don't think this is your Prince Charming moment. No, I don't. Uh, Perhaps just be a support system. Yeah. You know, you know her through the shelter so yeah and it could be you know if he goes too far it could be seen as preying on the vulnerable yeah, yeah. um or you know he's going to get stick because he could be a meal ticket is what other people might say to mm. him so i think just slow you, and steady yeah, wins the race to know really. <coughs> find out why she is homeless. ended up homeless yeah yeah we'll look at the comments She's homeless. She probably doesn't have very many places to go. So please don't make the shelter an awkward place for her. Wait until she gets on her feet before you try to make a move. That's kind fair of enough. fair enough. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I've never felt so capable of answering one of these before. I'm a site director for a congregate homeless shelter. Ah. The answer is you don't. <laughs> Yeah. You're in a position of authority and they're in a vulnerable position. Yeah. She is a client of yours in some capacity and this would be inappropriate, unprofessional and unethical. Mm -hmm. The only way this isn't unethical is if she leaves and has a successful life away from you in the shelter for quite some time, six months to a year. And you bump into her naturally and strike up a conversation slash friendship. I... <sighs> I think okay. that's a bit kind of too mm. rigider. Yeah. Women are objectified slash harassed constantly mm. in these settings and offered help by people that are only fixated on their physical traits, i.e. cleaned up well, a very creepy way to phrase that. Well, no, I it didn't isn't. See it that I way. didn't no. see it that way. And he also said, and she seems very nice. She's yeah. a nice girl. He didn't, it he wasn't hasn't all mentioned just... her looks apart from she cleans up well. Yeah. And I'm attracted to her. Um, she's a person that has her own experiences, struggles, hardships and goals. Yes, he's mentioned that. Yeah. She likely love. won't want to be reminded of the trauma of this experience. And if you did date, the relationship would have a power imbalance. Um, I've fired five to ten people for issues related to this topic. Boundaries are such an understated but vital part of this field. Mm. And it's easy for people to selfishly focus on their own wants and feelings without considering the position or motives of the other person. Mm -hmm. I think he's taking it a little too far, this, <coughs> this yeah. comment, Vincent. Yeah, I think so. I think you're looking into it a little too deeply. He just wants to get to know the girl. Yeah. He likes her. Yeah. Mm. I personally yeah. think it's it's just got to see if it goes naturally that way. And it sounds like she is getting her life together and she's a college graduate. Mm -hmm. and this could be a minor blip. And I mean, it, vulnerability, I think, is such a broad kind of spectrum almost you yeah. know if she's like really having hard times then yeah she might be super vulnerable but she might not be well she has a stable it. job she's getting an apartment soon she's on the up and up yeah you know so she's utilizing the shelter yeah at the moment well she needs it but it doesn't sound like she's going to be needing it for long i don't think um, the six months to a year thing is necessarily no a... No, because that uh, OP would lose their window, wouldn't they? Then yeah, yeah, and well, oh, you just happened to come across them. What do you want to do? Him stalk her for six months <laughs> to then 
chance meet her yeah. in the street. No, that's or, ridiculous. Or like just leave it to fate, and if you do happen to cross paths in yeah, the future, yeah, no, that's it's it's just. I mean, I do like the idea of fate, and if they are her. supposed to be something, I like then, that. But you can't. But it's you can't leave it all up to fate. No, mm. somebody's put. I hope Op leaves this woman alone. I get major. They're making him sound like a I predator. Know. I, I don't think this, this is the is... worst bit though. I get major white savior vibes from him. Oh my gosh. So you've assumed his race and you've yeah. assumed perhaps her race. <laughs> and the fact that he has met someone that he likes as a white savior. Yeah. Mm, brilliant. Dear yeah. me. Uh, someone's put there might be a concern about your using a position of power and influence over her to gain her affections you're able to provide her extra help or deny it as a helper think about how that could look i'm not in any way insinuating that op is doing this people's perceptions are what is important so don't do anything different for her at the center and as others have said give it time lots of time maybe wait until she's in a slightly better situation and then discuss it what you must also do is be clear and open with your supervisors if anything does happen between you. They will wish to be aware to avoid any conflict of interest. Oops. Yeah. But no, I, I don't think that it's kind of a case of you need to make a move. Mm -hmm. Just um, spend time with her in your professional capacity the same way you would all of the others. Yeah, just um, have good conversations. And, and when it does come to... You know, she will leave the homeless shelter, and that sounds quite imminent, really, if she's got this it secure job. It sounds like job. it would be true, and then maybe ask for her number when she's leaving. Well, that's that's to stay in of, touch. Yeah, and maybe suggest going for a coffee mm. or something, and just see what happens. Mm. But certainly, like everyone's willing to just attack him and make him out to be this predator, and she's yeah. some piece of meat. It's yeah. just. I don't think he's they, out to objectify yeah, her. They just keep talking about power imbalances. I know, like, that's... If one falls on hard times, I don't... I don't... Yeah, it doesn't mean you can't have a date. <laughs> As someone who used to work in a homeless shelter, please leave it be. Yeah. Everyone's such a Debbie Downer. Yeah, but also I think I it's, uh, they're also but... like, I get it, but yeah. they're pigeonholing and it's very, that's why I said at the beginning, it's very hard to say without background, like in mm -hmm. true kind of, you know, how long mm -hmm. have they been interacting? How long has she been at home? Yeah. She, you know, how they're long is it going to be? They're not giving actual advice, knows? are they? They're just going, don't, don't, don't do it. She's, don't. she's vulnerable. You've got the power. You've got the authority. She's a client. You know, it's inappropriate. Rather than saying... Just get to know each mm. other, you know, mm. see how it goes. Don't cross any boundaries. Most of the time, these sort of things happen very naturally. Yeah. You know, if she's attracted to you, yeah, then, then it, it will progress. And if she's and not. And if she's not, then you will just end up friends. Yeah. It's pretty obvious when a girl's friend zoning you. Yeah. So, yeah. It's, yeah, people just talking about predator, predatory behaviour and... Yeah, and I, I just think that's... Yeah. It doesn't look like OP's replied to anything, but I'm going to have a quick look and yeah. see if there's been any replies. It is a throwaway account, so Maybe so you can re remain anonymous. No, no comments. Just the one post, and it was only a day ago. Oh, so. okay. Yeah. Well. But, yeah. If you hear this, OP... <laughs> Just, uh, just be there for her. Let things progress naturally. Yeah. Don't force it. No. Don't be overly flirtatious. No, you don't set. Don't make, make sure it weird you, for you've her. You've got to maintain obviously yeah. professional boundaries. And because if she's like if she isn't attracted to you and isn't interested in anything like that, you flirting will just be creepy. And yeah. To her. Because yeah. we all know that. If a woman's attracted to you, it's not creepy. Yeah. If she's not attracted to you, it's creepy. <laughs> yeah. That's so hard. It is it? difficult for men, isn't it? It yeah. is really difficult. Yeah. It takes a lot of courage, I think, for a man mm -hmm. to approach a woman. Very much so. In this day and age, especially. With yeah. the, the young ladies. Yeah. And uh, I mean, if, certainly if they're not, like, unreasonably flirty. Mm. Um, some women are, like, being rude. 
Yeah. And I just think that's awful. It takes, is. Just remember, ladies, it mm -hmm. takes a lot of courage. <laughs> but yes, anyway, I think that's it for that's today. today. Yep. Yep. We're going to go and have a lazy Sunday now. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> cool. See you soon. See you soon. <laughs>